good morning guys welcome back to the vlog i'm on my way i'm getting ready to run out to get my nails done yeah i'm sorry if i'm giving a little bit of lackluster we'll talk about it later so i had to get dressed real quick put on my old faithful sweatshirt spray on some perfume really quickly y'all y'all don't know where to cut out there but i was saying i'm getting ready to go on some perfume so i can go to um get these nails done real quick yeah. yeah i bought this in the small one i think i said in the video that i actually bought the wrong size i wanted the one up from that i definitely should have bought it because it's where we're at you remember i was saying i was like it's like it's gonna be a spring sitting for me it's kind of giving fall when i put it on and it's strong. Let me get my phone and stuff so we can head out. Ugh, shoes untied. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my life together. Look at that. It's so foggy. Damn. The fact that I am, whoa, fighting to get you guys put up here. Hold on, y'all. So we can vlog. What the fuck? Yeah, it don't want to stick. Is it me? Yeah. Hey guys, like I was saying, I was trying to put the camera mount up. I don't know why it won't stick. Hold on, let's cut this off. I don't know why it won't stick. It's extremely foggy, so maybe it's a reason. Pay attention to the road and not your phone. So like I said, in the house, I am on my way to get my nails done. Yeah, I threw these clothes on. They clean. <laughs> but I was in a rush today. Okay. Oh my God. Y'all, y'all won't stick up there. Anyway, y'all, it's extremely foggy. Like I said, I need to be paying attention. I am back. I'm going to try my best to vlog everything today. Y'all, it has been rough. It has been rough. And I'll tell you guys maybe about it later. Um, yeah, because I'm supposed to be there at 9. It's 8.21. I need to be focusing. So, yeah. We'll reconvene when I'm done. Yeah, I don't know what I want. No inspiration. No nothing. I just know they need to be done. I okay, guys. I made it here. And enough time to sit, get you guys figured out, and back mounted up there. And to find me a nail design. And they're not even here. That's being on time. What time is it? 8.47. Yeah, I was I pushing it? Must have been. But <clears throat> I'm in here. I'm getting ready to get it done. So this is the before. The before. Yeah, I am alright, yeah, I am done and I am out. Um Nails did and done. Oh, she posted that quick. Anyway, y'all, here's my nails. That is her Instagram. And of course, I can show you guys right now. These are inspired by a focus off of. Let me see if I can find them really quickly. Because I need to get moving. Blue streak underscore nails. You see that? And that's where they come from. Where I'm inspired from. I like it. So yes, y'all. Blue streak it's underscore. Saturday. I haven't been vlogging. Why well, I don't know. But I was like, let me get the phone and get the vlogging. So I gotta talk quick. I'm at five below, looking for charging things. Just out today, shopping for spring and summer clothes to replenish. They have it. They ain't seen us in a minute. So that's what we're out here doing, y'all. Damn, I think my husband's camera is better than mine. So, let me get out of here, cause I'm gonna have to chop this clip up. Hey guys, 
so like I was saying, I don't know if you can hear me in there or not, because I don't know if the music was too loud, and I might have to cut some of it out, but we're just out and about today. Um, just doing a little light shopping, um, maybe for clothes that we see, so I want to replenish our kind of spring and summer wardrobes of time. I kind of want to get some more sandals and stuff like that. Um, yeah, now I'm about to go to Starbucks. I want to try this pineapple something. It's some kind of green drink everybody been getting. I want to try that. Um, yes. And then I'm on my way to Burlington. Hope they got some. Yeah, I feel like Burlington is about to be that place where it's pretty early. Early enough. But Burlington, I feel like it's about to be one of them places that ain't got shit because everybody wiped it out already because that new Ross, I went to a new Ross yeah, they didn't have nothing I mean nothing at all, I picked up a purse and a pair of jeans but I decided to put them back, I'm like I really don't need a pair of jeans, I guess I still could have got them but I still gotta go through the spring season but I'm rambling so I'll see you guys when I get to Starbucks yeah, we ordered it, we wasn't able to get the damn grilled cheese Everybody said they stay sold out this grilled cheese. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you had any. Is it really worth it? Is it all that like they say it is? So, um, I'm about to try it. We're about to try it. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Okay, y'all. Uh, here we go. We got it. This is the pineapple matcha drink. I know them YouTube be gassing this shit up. Let's see. <laughs> That's good. Oh my god! Hold on, I'm gonna take another sip. Damn, they got some green grass. You like that matcha. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? <laughs> fuck no. Y'all, hold on. I'm trying to taste it, so. Okay, yeah, let me try to take one more sip. I'm trying to give y'all an accurate description of what this shit tastes like. Ooh, I should take it back. Hold on. It's giving tea that somebody drunk some milk. I don't taste no damn pineapple mm -hmm. at all. That bullshit. Man, that's green, green. Shit is green it ain't never good. Not true. Come on. Good for you, it ain't good. Can you taste it? Jeez. Nope. <laughs> Come on, take another sip and give us a description. Like vanilla. <laughs> it tastes like tea. That bubble of tea milk. They put milk in there. It said almond milk, coconut milk, or whatever. Yeah. I taste. It tastes like tea that somebody just drunk the milk and matcha. I don't taste no. I taste a little tropic something, but the damn show sure ain't no pineapple, y'all. Fuck! I waste my money. I could have went and got me a smoothie. I tried. See, that's why I don't listen to them YouTube and be like, I ain't nothing like it. Fuck y'all. I'm done. I ain't never getting nothing else y'all recommend damn again. Oh my goodness. That was five dollars. No, I don't. No, I'm not. You drink it. It's on you, buddy. So anyway, guys, I'll talk to you when we get to the next store. Bye. Okay guys, so we went to Burlington. I didn't go in. It was extremely too crowded. It's supposed, supposed to be very nice um, Monday. I'm just come back Monday when I feel like people at work because yeah, it was way too crowded to go in now. Uh, my husband's about to get him a chicken sandwich from KFC. I don't know where we're gonna go now. I don't know what else is over here. Well, I do, but I don't know what else we want to do, so yes y'all tonight i'm going to attempt to make some crunch wraps talk about crunch wraps so that'd be something i can record tonight or bits and pieces of not like a whole tutorial but you know so that was a fail Brosen. should have known that but uh all right y'all see ya okay sir 
He's ready to do his Smackalicious review. Yeah. I could have sworn out. Well, hold on, y'all. But Sans has his papa. <laughs> you know that people are gonna say we always trying eating food or trying some shit. <laughs> well. Well we do. Alright, yeah. Try to that. Popeye looked like he was bigger, didn't it? Crispy. Need a minute. Need another bite in a minute so you get a review. While he's thinking about it, who the fuck told KFC to get rid of the potato wedges? Nobody asked for that. Like, are you kidding me? I don't know. Hold on, y'all. We'll be back. Some people pop eyes. Shit, it might be a tie. This motherfucker spicy in the pop eyes. Is it? Hell yeah. Who tastes who got the best flavor? I think pop eyes is a little juicier. Mm hmm. This one got more spice to it. Who was the winner? A lot of chicken. Both got good season. You gotta try the Zaxby one. They didn't enter the chat. This motherfucker spicy. Good. Should I buy it again? So, which one is your favorite so far? The other ones you tried, including uh, what's the one everybody like? Did I be seasoning that chicken? Chick Fil A. Yeah. Oh, I ain't even on any level. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about, I mean, KFC got more spice to it. That spicy got more spice to it. That's all in my mouth. You okay? Damn, that's tough, y'all. We'll be back after you eat it. You want me to try it so bad, y'all yeah, know. Hey, chicken. Let's people that be having real chicken. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to find an end that ain't so big. Like, Right there. Mm -hmm. mm. Y'all gotta close my eye to keep from throwing up. Spicy, man. Yeah. It's definitely hot. It's hot. It got a little, spicy, got a little heat on it. Got a lot of heat on it. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna give him a tie, man. Ooh, it's hot. I give him a tie. It's kinda hot. If I can't get Popeye, I'll, I'll be satisfied with KFC. It's good, y'all. It's hot. Crispy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty one they ain't never had crispy chicken unless you got what's that other one? Crispy or original? Original recipe. So which is your favorite? You can't choose? Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. Yeah. You said it's a tie. Talk to you later. I think Popeye is a little bigger though. I think it's so. Bigger. Chicken it's breast is bigger as fuck. Um, Popeyes is bigger. You get more bang for your buck. But KFC, you can't get Popeyes. KFC will do. But what about Church's Chicken? Church's mm Chicken? -hmm. I ain't like this. No. You can't really say which one you like because you haven't had Zaxby yet. You know, I told you they just came out with that little time of day entered it. Yeah. How you going to be a year late? <laughs> a year, two years late? Yeah. Two years that late? McDonald's one suck. More than like regular chicken for us. That McDonald's? Yeah. I don't even think they care. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Okay, y'all. Bye. Hey, guys. It has been several hours later. I don't know if I came back and talked to you guys since I've been in the house or not. But I'm getting ready to do these crunch wraps. Get my little ingredients. That's medium. Because I want a queso. This is regular nacho cheese, but whatever. Oh, and remember, see, I don't know what I be telling y'all or not. I'm doing the crunch wraps, and we're going to do the apple empanadas. So I got the tostadas for the middle. Hope these are big enough. I should have got the jumbo or the extra large or whatever it is. Um, yes. And then I'll get back and show you the ingredients for the other stuff. Let me get my ground beef 
on started and cooking then i'm going to come back guys because i picked up some more wine i need to figure out what kind of segment i want to call this one i'm on here talking to you guys about the wine and stuff like that i don't know so that's what i'm about to do let me get this started and we're gonna chit chat talk about wine and etc hold on guys okay y'all so let me show y'all these wines that we picked up let me turn y'all get y'all back in a light I got my glass. We actually picked up three, but I want to try the Riesling. Okay, y'all know I mess with Barefoot Heavy. I have pretty much tried all of their new, like, what well, ain't new? They've been out for like, shit, I want to say two years. Kind of like they fruity ones. Remember I showed you guys, it was like apple, watermelon, all of those. Those are pretty good anyway. But I don't want to, I want to get more into their like, y'all, I'd have had so much of their stuff. I don't know. But this one, I have never tried. So let's try it together. While the ground beef cooks. A little Riesling. It says, Barefoot Riesling is a very lovely wine with tasty aromas and flavors of mandarin orange, tangerine, Layered with luscious peach, juicy pear, hints of jasmine, honey, complements the complements the sweet and refreshing finish. Barefoot Riesling is the perfect match of white cheese, fruit, appetizers, spicy cuisines. Yummy. Let's see. Babe, I'm about to try. You want some? The Riesling. Right. Cheers, y'all. Hold on, my ground beef. Mm. Oh shit. It's a good one. Hell yeah. You gotta come try it. <laughs> y'all know it's ghetto over here. Huh? I promise you. Y'all, now y'all know. Let me show y'all since I got it in the refrigerator. You know I be telling y'all like I don't really mess with shit. Hey, I don't, you know. But a glass every now and again. Let me see. So, let me tell you. Let me show you since I'm cooling it out. It's good. Get on camera. Bend down. Just arch down so I can see your reaction. Well, of course you're tired. You can do that. It's gonna tip back. Yeah. I told you. Okay. So these barefoots here. This is the mango. They got like watermelon, apple, peach. Am I missing one? Blueberry. These are good anyway. So, yeah, I'll try these. These are like a wine cooler. Okay, babe. You want to put that back? Then, my nephew says last night, like, y'all got to try this. Carla Rossi Pink Sweet Sangria. So, that's what this is looking like. I only remember this in like them big old gallon ones that people be drinking. So, y'all. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. But this, oh, my goodness. Damn. Barefoot? Like, what have they missed? Which one we didn't like? The rosé? What's the rosé? Yeah, we didn't like the rosé. The rosé and the blueberry. You didn't care for the blueberry, right? It was all right. I ain't tasted it, so. This is A+. Plus. Damn, y'all, this is good. That's real good. Yeah, right. Can you fix that for me? Let's try. Let me. I hope this don't leak. I know I come on here every weekend and be like, look, we're trying a new one, but the barefoot, the reason was new. Oh, and that sangria one. It wasn't, it was strong as fuck. Like, cut your windpipe off. But hold on, let me rinse my cup and try this other one. Let me drink some water. And let's try this. Y'all know I'm every week pretty much with something different. So let's put this one in. Whew, that kind of cut my windpipe off a little bit. But the barefoot pink Moscato is still the best, hands down. Hands down. All right, get this a whirl. A little bit for me. Enjoy. You like juice? Uh -huh. 
It's good. Put a bite again. You bite again? Let me try. Yeah. It ain't as sweet as that Riesling. I don't know if it's meant to be this sangria, but yeah. Tell me what you think. Wine time. Probably somebody name already. The reason. It's alright. It's cool. It's good. It ain't nasty. But it ain't messing with barefoot. Yeah, barefoot better. Yeah. The reason was an A plus. This is about a B. About a B. Yeah. B plus B minus. About a B. That was a nice little taste test, but oh, Riesling. Yeah. That was good. That was really good. So I'm pretty sure next week, later on this week, now nah, it's a lot of wine. It'll be in there for a while, but maybe next week I'll be back. Uh, trying out something else I didn't see. But all right. Let me finish cooking dinner. Because somebody, I told him to get the super. Remember yeah. I was telling y'all early? So yeah. look, he didn't crack. Let's throw it in the trash. I'm eating this shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to take us off YouTube. We can't do it. But, uh. That shit good. Can you not? Bam. Bam. See? That wasn't no fucking crunch wrap. What was that? Crunch wrap. That's a Okay, guys, I am going to talk over this part. We set out to make these crunch wraps, right? Let me tell y'all that this whole entire meal was a complete fail. From the crunch wrap to the apple empanadas, y'all, they were a fail. My husband got the like the big size instead of the jumbo um, burrito shells so I can fold it into a crunch wrap. And then I was like, okay, I'm putting too much stuff in. Look at all the ground beef I put in there, y'all. So I'm putting too much stuff in there on top of it. So yeah, it didn't work. You couldn't fold it into place the way you want it to work. Even after my husband went in and tried to <laughs> do whatever he was going to do and cut the tostadas down. Y'all, <laughs> looking back at this, it make no sense. I look like I just don't know how to cook, but yeah, I throw down in the kitchen. <laughs> but um. Yeah, yeah, this whole meal was a complete freaking fail. I wound up making, um, what are them things called? Ah, oh, y'all didn't slip my mind. Not enchiladas, what's the other one? Quesadillas. I wound up just making quesadillas with this, and then the amphinata, y'all, it went crazy. We might, we just wound up making a skillet basically apple pie and just ate it with the ice cream y'all this whole meal was a complete freaking fail so we definitely ha i have to redeem myself and try again like me and my husband have never made you see me shaking my head like this ain't right we have never made a whole meal that just fell from the damn whole thing including the dessert y'all it was terrible <laughs> so <laughs> look at that <laughs> Enjoy it, guys. Bye. Look at him trying to figure. Yeah, so I just got done cooking them. I wanna make in quesadillas because I don't know if it's um, I did wrong or the shell wasn't big enough. But it looked like whatever, y'all. We just made uh, quesadillas, and I'm just having my little dip and stuff. If I'd have known, I would have made some rice. Um. What? So, <laughs> <laughs> nothing so what we're making now i probably would put that on the board. Uh, um we're melting the caramel for the empanadas now this is the little caramel pellets we got my husband had already started mixing like the filling and all that i was going to show you guys me making the filling so this is what we're getting ready to do the filling, the caramel, he's melting down now. I'm about to do the dough. And uh, fry these babies up. Um, what kind of ice cream did you get? You did? You didn't want regular vanilla? 
But anyway, and that'll be our dessert for tonight. I'm gonna go find a movie. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow, cause tomorrow is yard day. We're vamping the yard. We're moving into the backyard. Well, back in front, I'm guessing. You doing back in front? Yeah. Put your hands on. We work cleaning up basically. Landscape probably start next week. So yeah, good night, guys. I'll probably show you a clip of us having our food and dessert, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, so good morning. I did today is Monday. <sighs> this thing's having from 7 to 12 a.m. I know they ain't Third. got shit, but yes, at the Easter to East. So I'm coming to see what they got real quick. What's in here? You need to think. Good morning. So I went in there, couldn't find absolutely nothing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just go home and order me some stuff off of uh, websites, off the internet. Just order me a whole bunch of stuff, y'all. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm about to do. That was such a bust and a waste of gas. I automatically, I kind of knew because they've been short a few years. That's why y'all ain't see me doing a haul from them because they ain't been having nothing. So, yeah, sure. I'm about to just get home, get to order some things. I may show you guys a couple sneak peeks of some stuff that I'm about to order or whatever. Um, of course, I know if I get enough, I'll do a haul. I'm going to do a haul. Um, <laughs> so, I'll see you guys later. And so, I have been home for a few hours. I went downstairs, ordered me a couple things. I just took it kind of light on this website, I guess you could say. Um, I want to try the pieces out before I go all out and make a big-ass purchase. Um... So when it does come in, I will talk about it and stuff. Um, what I got, I'll show you guys. I probably do a try on. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go find. Getting ready to go find dinner. We've been cooking at home. Um, and I don't think we feel like doing it today. So I'm gonna give me some McAllister's Deli. I think I'm gonna give me a soup sandwich. Yeah. Now let's talk about how all these years I was calling this thing McAllister's and it's McAllister's clear as day. Clear as day, y'all. So I'm getting picked up. Let's see what we have here. Oh, this is my husband's Reuben sandwich. His little jalapeno chips. <laughs> and mine. I tried to go on the healthier side and get like the wheat wrap normally i get the other one i can't think of it right now but it looks pretty good guys i got that and some soup broccoli and cheddar soup or broccoli potato and cheddar soup i forget what it is yeah broccoli and cheddar soup and a nice thing of ice cold water and i am done for tonight so bye y'all so that'll be it bye y'all good morning guys it is 9 19 in the morning on a friday guys i was going to drop a vlog today but i realized in the vlog i was not doing enough things and i was just sick of the routines and stuff that i was doing on my vlog y'all my lips are so trapped yeah it's early i'm actually just getting up um so i did i'm not gonna put the vlog out this week but I'm for damn sure am really about to record some footage worth watching because it just got to the point it wasn't good enough for me. And if you've been with me for a long time, you guys know how I talk about um, recording things and then deleting it. Yeah, I'm very hard on myself. So, y'all, 
this has to be the last week of me not being on here and not vlogging. Um, so we're going to get to it today. Y'all, when I tell you I was up to almost four, it might have been four when I went to bed, of watching somebody's live and I couldn't turn away from it because it was damn some of my eye. It was so good. Hey guys, so like I was saying, um, today I actually have stuff to do. I did what I said I was going to do for years. You guys know I had talked about doing the Poshmark and putting stuff on Poshmark. Well, guys, I did it last night. Um, yeah, I want to tell you my husband be on it. And my husband is so damn supportive. I could say I want to sell dirt at the damn car wash. And he'll say... Okay, if you believe you could sell it, let's do it. What do we got to do to get you to do it? Laura, I thank you so much for him and just his support on everything. So, y'all, yesterday, I launched my Poshmark and I got the sale. <laughs> so, um, I put some heels on there, the ones I ordered a little while ago. And I never wore because they actually were too big for me. So, my Poshmark is Terry Keep It Fly. Um, I was trying to use the same names that I normally use, kind of like as my YouTube and stuff like that, but it wasn't available, so I just had to use that. So make sure you guys, if you want to purchase, y'all, this is killing me. Y'all know I always have a makeshift bonnet. I don't like these because they pull your edges out, but I digress. Um, what was I about to say? I need a bill. Yes, I'll try to put the link down below. I'll write my name on the screen. Yeah, I'm 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 fresh just waking up. I didn't watch my damn face. So <gasps> take this <laughs> just kidding. So rude. Um, but yeah, I made it and I'll have it across the screen. Again, I made the posture that Terry keep it fly. Oh, yeah. So I'm excited about that. Um I got a sale, um, so I have to get up and do what I need to do. I had already ordered the stuff because I anticipated it to sell. I'm, I'm going to speak it into existence. Um, I was anticipating it to sell anyway, and it happened faster than what I thought because my postcards aren't even ready. But I have some running to do, so I will have footage we will be recording. My husband wants to go to the movies. He's like, I gotta get out of here. Let's go out to eat. So after I handle all my business stuff today, I am going to go out and enjoy my life a little bit so we can get some better footage. Not just for the footage, but just enjoy my life. So guys, yes, I made the Poshmark at Terry Keep It Fly on Poshmark. Go and follow me, guys. Um, I wanted to get on here and tell you guys first, so after I get done talking on this video, I'm going to go and um, make an Instagram post about it. Oh my God, yeah, I'm trying to get comfortable. I'm going to go make an Instagram post about it and post it on Snap. So maybe some of you guys will see it there. And then I'm going to go into the community post. And then I'll try. I'm just basically put it everywhere I am so people can get to the things. It'll be brand new stuff, gently used stuff. You guys know how I am. Um, I'll haul some for you. You'll never see me in it. I've been in, um, donated it instead of selling it. And I'm like, shit, if they can sell my shit, so can I. So here we are. So if you're about my size, the size to be on there. Um, and everything. Okay, guys. So. I've been saying it for years I was going to do it. People have asked me to do it. So, yeah, I finally posted on my Poshmark. So, at Terry Keep It Fly, you can follow me. I have posted brand new shoes that I have never worn before. They are on there. You can go and shop again at Terry Keep It Fly. Um, more things will be posted very soon. But, yeah, y'all, I did it. Shop Terry Safe Fly on Poshmark. I'm here at Office Depot printing off labels because my printer is a whole nother story. So I'm checking off one thing on my list today. I have some things I need to print off, labels and stuff like that for people's orders. So we're getting this thing moving. I'm excited. And let me finish this, y'all. Let me get done and we'll talk in a little bit. Okay, yeah, I'm here to get my boxes. I ordered some on the website but i need some now so like i said shit this stuff off so that's what i'm getting ready 
to do is get some boxes for what I need them for. So yeah. You would think. You would think. This is Dollar Tree. It is. I just realized we parked Rose back from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, jumping today, honey. Ah, I forgot about Easter. This mother gonna be swamped. People trying to make an Easter bear. What is going on with my shoe? Yeah, I'll see y'all when we get in here. I'm getting the remulched. Good afternoon, guys. Happy Easter. I know you've been already seeing me in this little one too because I vlogged this morning dropping cheesecakes off. So, just coming outside. My husband is going to. be throwing us some on the ground. Yeah, we didn't do nothing with family for real. Um, just probably throw us like some. Come on, door shut. We need to put a new thing on that door, babe. Huh? Yeah. But anyway, I'm um, just cooking. Damn. I'm cooking us some food today. That's what we're doing. Um, some chicken. What else you got? You want to tell the people happy Easter? Yeah. What you cooking today? Not cook for my son. I know. That's I'm saying what you cooking though. Oh, you trying chicken. to say you ain't cooking for me? <laughs> huh? Chicken steak. Look at the camera. Chicken steak. Maybe slab of ribs. So, yeah. It's just us for real. A beautiful day, y'all. Last week we got back here. Well, I ain't do nothing. I ain't even about to lie. My nephew and my husband got back here and kind of picked up a lot of things. It looks so naked back here. But, y'all, I'm thinking this year. <laughs> y'all remember when I was supposed to get the patio done back here? And the dogs stopped all that shit. <laughs> but, uh. Ooh. What's this body connected to? What the fuck you doing, bro? What? <laughs> this is a spider. What? Right there, I see him flying. No. Uh -huh. He gliding with me. Uh -huh. But anyway, this year I think we're going to go ahead and get into redoing this part back here. I think. You know what I mean? I won't do anything. Um. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and redecorate landscape back here. Go ahead and do what I was going to do last year and start in the back and do all that and go ahead and get the pool and stuff out. Yeah, that pool been sitting there for two years. It's been about two years now, ain't it? Yeah. Going to get the pool out. I would love to get it all done by my birthday so I can have like a little family pool get together. But I don't know. That'd be cool. But yes, I have a little bit more work back here to do. My landscaping back here, and I want to get the pool out. But I didn't want to get the pool, guys, till we got the privacy fence. Y'all remember all that? The deck, patio, whatever we were going to do back here. All that got halted. The fence, and all that because of the dog. And we just never picked it back up and, you know, finished it. So, guys, today is Easter. I hope you guys are having an amazing Easter. Y'all, my hair looks so bad. I'll take it down this week. So yes, yes, cooking, we cooking, we cooking. What the fuck am I back here doing? All right, y'all, bye. Uh, I went through my glasses and I got rid of a lot of them. For a quick second, it was looking really bare until I put the ones up there that I bought last year. So y'all, hold on, here is the other ones right here. So y'all can see I did give a lot of them away and I'm only left with this. Y'all, my beauty room is a mess because I don't know. I'm purging and getting rid of a lot of stuff. I had my nephew on the phone. He was like, get rid of keep it, keep it. So all this stuff. 
I'm going to be posting, I guess, item sun, uh, blah, 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 blah. all these sunglasses and stuff on here, guys. So I'm going to be posting it. Yeah, I'm feeling some type of way. My little thing is kind of empty. Like I was saying, I didn't took things down from here. Um, like I said, it used to be more on here. They were all squeezed together. And I'm still going through it, debating on what I want to keep and what I want to get give away or sell it or whatnot. Like this bag, yeah, I have never. You can still see the thing on it. I have never used this stuff, yeah. And I just be having it and never, ever carry it. Like, never worn, never worn, never worn. As you can see, yeah, the tags and stuff is still on. I don't know if the tags this is in the inside or what, but you can still see this is like crispy. Yeah, I ain't never wore it. So, I was like, no point of it just sitting up here. Somebody else definitely would bring it in their home and make use for it. Like, the bag I bought. As you can see, y'all, I never wore it. It's never been worn like this. I tried it on, I kind of like it, but I'm going to go ahead and give it away. I wore that a few times, but it looks too childish for me now. Not judging anybody else if they decide they want to buy it. Um, And yeah, that too. This one, I just got it down there because a lot of more stuff coming out. A lot of more, a lot of other things coming out. So yeah, I feel good with purging things because I'm the type of person... Oh, excuse me guys it's hard for me to part ways with my things but when i do i normally just donate it i never try to sell it or anything because yeah this is how i am so now i'm about to go into the other room and get into sneakers and stuff that i have never worn i only wore worn once what the hell are those i ain't never yeah, I only wore these, I want to say, once or twice. And they just be up there hanging out. But I was like, hmm. I wonder if anybody going to want these. Put it on there. You buy it, you buy it, you don't shit up. So, yeah, I'm about to get ready and start taking pictures for all this shit. And I hope by the time you guys see this, if you want to get something, you can. Y'all done put y'all in the damn dark. We have all in my eyes. Yeah, I have um, a night of shooting photos and stuff. Yeah, actually, I think it was fun. It wasn't like I was hurting for money or nothing, but I'm like, yeah, I have all this shit. Let me hold y'all up here. I have all this shit that I don't use, and I know in somebody else's home, they would love it. And I got sick of giving my stuff to the Salvation Army or whatever. Well, I could have took it to a women's shelter or something. That scared the hell out of me. A women's shelter or something like that. And they would have really appreciated it. I was like, some things, like I said before, I will give away. And the other things, I'll go ahead and post and sell for myself. Whew. And I enjoyed it. When somebody was ordering that little stuff out of my thing, I, I felt all cute when I sent the orders up there and stuff. So, yeah, yeah. Here we are. Um, I hope by Friday, the stuff will be posted. By Friday, guys. It'll be more. It's stuff on there now, but more things will be posted. By Friday. So yeah, bye y'all.